Hi, hello and welcome back to F1 Challenge Career Mode. My name is Mephisto and today we're heading off to Austria for round 9 of the 99 Formula 1 season. Let's get started. Just before the free practice session begins, let's take a quick look at the Drivers' Championship. Mika Hakkinen is running away with the Drivers' Championship. Schumacher, second. The Jordan Driver, third. Coulthard, fourth. Irvine, fifth. Barrichello, sixth. Hill, seventh. Fisichella, eighth. Ralph Schumacher, Trulli, Venice, and Genet share ninth. And Villeneuve, tenth. Well, that covers the drivers. Let's take a quick look at the constructors next. McLaren are running away with the Constructors Championship. Ferrari are second. Jordan are third. Stewart, fourth. Prost, fifth. Benetton, sixth. Williams and Minardi share seventh. And BAR are in eighth. Located near Nittelfeld in the foothills of the Styrian Mountains, the A1 ring combines three long straights with a flowing mix of fast sweeping and slower 90 degree turns. Built on the site of a historic Osterreich ring, this dedicated motorsports facility is another fine example of modern circuit design. After an amazing race last week in Britain, we arrive here in Austria to start off the second half of the season and we'll be looking to repeat last week's performance. So far, it's been a fantastic season both for us and the team, and despite a couple of retirements, we are set quite comfortably in third in the championship, much better than I would have expected. But the season is still far from over, so anything could happen. And now, coming around for our first qualifying lap, the time won't be that good because like an idiot, I accidentally activated the pit limiter halfway through the lap. But we crossed the line with a time of 1 minute 18.064 seconds, placing us in 17th for the moment. And now, coming around for the second lap, this time I remembered not to press random buttons on my steering wheel. And so, we crossed the line with a time of 1 minute 14.960 seconds. A lot better than previously, but that only puts us in 16. See you on the grid. Hello there. Welcome to Austria for round 9 of the 1999 FIA Formula 1 World Championship. Weather-wise, it's pretty overcast with occasional drizzle making things very tricky out there. Mika Hakkinen, first. David Coulthard, second. Schumacher consistently outpaced his championship rival, the Jordan driver. Hill was consistently faster than his teammate. He starts fourth. Irvine, fifth. Barrichello, sixth. Panis, seventh. Villeneuve, eighth. Herbert, ninth. Alexander Wurtz, 10th. Jean Alesi, 11th. Schumacher, 12th. Trulli, 13th. Giancarlo Fisichella, 14th. Zanardi, 15th. The Jordan Driver, 16th. Diniz, 17th. Zonta, 18th. Pedro de la Rosa, 19th. Luca Badoa, 20th. Genet, 21st. Tora Takagi, 22nd. On the grid now, we are set in 16th, row 8, so quite far back. But I'm sure we are quite used to this by now. And we're off. As per usual, we'll be looking to gain as many places in the first corner. And we already passed Zanardi, then Fisichella, followed by Trulli, Ralph Schumacher, Alesi. Bert, Herbert, Villeneuve and Penis. We've gained 9 places just with that first corner. But let's take another look at the start.
As you can see, everyone got away from the grid with no incidents whatsoever. In the meantime, we got past Barrichello, whilst Trulli and Zanardi have a collision. We are now looking at the Ferrari of Eddie Irvine, who breaks late and we slide right past him. But let's take a look at what happened behind us. It looks like Trulli tried to pass Zanardi, but ended up hitting him instead. And now I make a mistake, going very wide and spinning the car around, but I managed to recover it quite beautifully I should say. Although we do lose a few places, at least we haven't damaged the car. But another incident takes place behind us. We are now looking at Takagi as he slams into Zonta's rear. But that's not all. Here we have Truly once again who hits Denez and then backs up and hits Zonta. Now a view from Denez's car as he hits Truly. Once again we see Zanardi who slightly taps the front of Takagi's car. And finally we have Zonta being hit by Truly. What a crazy first lap this has been. Now obviously they will be looking to fit early, well some of them at least, those who've lost their rear wings will have to retire. Anyway, we are now trying to catch up to Bert, and we get in front of him. I missed the apex of the corner by a mile, but we still managed to stay in front of Bert. Up next we have Penis and we'll be looking for an opportunity to pass him as well. He breaks early into turn 3 and we pass him easily, however once again I go wide to this corner, thankfully this time I keep the car straight, but Penis retakes his lost position. We are now on lap 3 and we'll try to pass Penis once more and that goes smoothly. On lap 4 somehow we managed to set the fastest lap whilst chasing down Barrichello. We outbreak him into turn 2 and get ahead of him. Next, we'll be looking at getting around Irvine. Near the end of lap 4, we get close to Irvine and we try to pass him. And that is made easy by taking advantage of the arrows of Takagi, who is now one lap behind. And that puts us in 5th. Next, we have Michael Schumacher. We get to pass him and almost rear-ended our teammate, which would have been a very bad thing. But we managed to avoid a collision. Now let's see if we can pass him into turn 3. We enter his slipstream to give us a boost and then we outbreak him, facing us in third. But on lap 7 we need to fit for fuel and tires. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully it won't take as long as in our last race. The car is now off the jacks and I have no idea how long that took because the game didn't tell me. And Takagi is having engine problems. Here he is, we can see a bit of smoke coming from the rear of his car. Too bad, he served us quite well in helping us pass Irvine. Oh well. We'll probably have other slower cars to take advantage of. We eventually pass a lot of cars that were pitting, and we are now behind Poulthard. Into turn 3, we take the inside line, then try to squeeze him as we exit the corner. Eventually, we get ahead, but let's see what happened to Barrichello. Here we have the Brazilian going through the corner, and we start to see a bit of smoke from his car. But Coulthard cuts right in front of us and I'm pretty sure that was an illegal overtake. All four wheels were outside the white line. That should grant him a penalty. We try to pass him once more into turn 2 but end up hitting him instead. That's not good. Later however we come across a back marker which will allow us to pass him. Should I be taking advantage of the AI like this? Who knows. But with less than 2 laps remaining, we will have to try and pass Hakinon. I squeeze myself between him and De La Rosa and get through. Now for the final 2 corners, we have Hakinon close behind but can we keep him there? A bit slow through the corners and now Hakinon is right on our gearbox. This is going to be tight. But we managed to cross the line ahead of him 
taking our second victory in our rookie season, which is absolutely amazing. If we keep this up, we might be able to challenge for second in the championship. But I don't think we have a chance at first place though. Anyway, I'll be happy even if we can finish the season in third. But who knows what might just happen. Well, that's the end of an awesome Austrian Grand Prix. Here are the final results. The Jordan driver first. Hakkinen second. David Coulthard third. Schumacher fourth. Hill fifth. Irvine sixth. With the results confirmed, it's high time we updated the Drivers' Championship. Mika Hakkinen extends his lead at the top of the Drivers' Championship. Michael Schumacher second, we are third, Coulthard fourth, Irvine fifth, Hill sixth, Barrichello seventh, Fisichella eighth, Ralph Schumacher truly Panis and Janet share ninth, and Villeneuve is in tenth. McLaren increase their lead at the top of the Constructors' Championship. Ferrari are second, followed by the third place, Jordan. Stewart fourth, Prost fifth, Benetton sixth, Williams and Minardi share seventh, and VAR eighth. A pretty amazing race, and although it wasn't as exciting as the British Grand Prix, it was still pretty fun. Anyway, that's all for now. But join me next time when we head out to Germany for round 10 of the season. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, stay sharp.